Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Abba Father. Abba Father. Oh. Be your the glory, be your the glory, be your the glory, be your the glory. Shalom, hallelujah. Shalom, hallelujah. Ladabasita rababashia. God is great. God is good. God is excellent. Hallelujah. We bless the King of Kings. We adore the Lord of Lords. We worship Him. We glorify Him. Today is the day that He has made for us. Uh, and therefore, we are going to adore Him. We're going to praise Him. We're going to magnify Him. We're going to exalt His name for He is King of Kings and His Holy. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Enjoy the worship song, Awesome God. I'm just going to go ahead and share this video. I hope the lighting is okay. My curtains are wide open, so I may be even looking too white here, but it is well. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for his mercies this hour. Oh, yes. You are the reason why we are happy, Jesus. Oh, yes. Shalom, 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 shalom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you got to spread the news. Hallelujah. <laughs> God bless you, big brother. Hallelujah. We have a God. This is some old tunes, but those are the best. Hallelujah. Just enjoy the worship. Please go ahead and share. Make Jesus famous. Go ahead and spread the word of God. We're just going to praise him and worship him. We're just going to thank him for all the goodness and the mercies he has done for us. He's a good God. Hallelujah. I am sharing the live, so my head will be down for a moment. Shalom. I am singing a new song today. Jesus, hallelujah. Mommy God. Mommy God, oh, mommy. I will never worship. Mommy God. Mommy God. We will never worship mommy God. Hey, those were the days gone by. Those were the past. Those were gone are the days when we reached to worship man made God. You are so good. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Shalom, shalom, everyone. Please go ahead and share into groups. Go ahead and share into groups. Go ahead and invite somebody. Go ahead and invite somebody. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Kadabash and Oh, we will never worship my main God again. We will no longer idolize again. Nabahashadabrakatuya. I am sharing. Bless you. Thanks for your patience. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, you are. How great art. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Ooh, how great are Now, my papa, oh. Now, my papa, oh. God of miracles. Hallelujah. Yadaba, shadababa. God bless you, all. Shalom. Please go ahead and share. Thank you. 
Now my father. I'm still sharing. This is a lot of work, okay? What we're gonna get through there. I'm still sharing, still sharing. He will never become a man. What he says will surely become Christ. Okay. Mm. He will never become a man. Hallelujah. I think I'm I'm done for now. All right. Hallelujah. Please go ahead and share. We're just going to thank God for his mercies. He's an awesome God. His mercies, mercies, mercies. His mercies are so sweet. Uh, without the mercy of God in your life, where would you be? Where would you go? How would you function? Without the mercies of God in your life, how would we even be where we are right now? Go ahead and share. Please share. God bless you. I am sharing. My head is still down, but I will be with you just momentary. God bless you all. Oh, yes. Go ahead and enjoy the worship. In your life, they will see and they will hear the goodness of the Lord. In your life. Wherever you are, begin to bless the Lord. Begin to adore him already. That's all we are here for. We are here to magnify the Lord, the King, uh, the Ancient of Days. Okay, the sound is good. The sound is good. I hope I'm not too loud. Like I was um, Monday, I, I believe Monday or Tuesday, I was very loud that somebody was knocking at my door. That's serious. Yadabash, <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me go ahead and play the song. <laughs> Monday or was it Tuesday? I was very loud that somebody was knocking at my door. That is very serious. That is too loud. I get very excited, you know, when I'm worshiping the Lord. I get very excited. I get so excited and I can't, I can't just do it like in my heart. It's very difficult to do it in my heart. Hallelujah. Listen, I want my song. I need you to play. I don't know why you're sleeping. It's not time to sleep, my dear. Time to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm trying to get the worship song back for us. Time to. Hallelujah. How are you doing? Well, before that, I got to greet my father. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jehovah God. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Now, good morning. How are you doing? How is everybody doing? I trust God that it is well because you can hear me. You can see me. I trust God that it is well with you, your family. And wherever you are, before we begin, as usual, we're going to ask God to take over this video. We're going to ask God to take over our body, our mind, our soul, our spirit. So he will give us the spirit of worship that will be able to love him more and more and more. We're going to ask God that he will take over this life. In fact, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is my prayer that, Father, I decrease myself for you to increase in me. It is my prayer that, Father, you touch anybody that watching me now, the ones that will come on, even the ones that will listen on, who knows, uh, um, um, later on, Father, I ask the Father you touch them as they come and join you, Father. Let them be in the mood of worship. Let them be in the mood of praising you. Let them be in the mood of glorifying you, Lord. Uh, any heart that needs to be mellowed, Father, touch those hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your presence take over. Let our praises and our worship, Father, uh, uh, um, be acceptable to you. Give us the heart that we need to praise you so that it will be acceptable unto you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Saints, God bless you. I know you have better things to do. I know you have a lot of things to do. Your day, your schedule is busy, but you can never be busy enough for God because God is never busy enough for you to leave you out. God did not say, oh, I am too busy to woke you up, wake you up this morning or today. I know some of us, we are watching from different time zones. God did not say, I'm too busy for you to give you mercy and favor. So therefore, we have to also give God at least five minutes. Five minutes of the, out of the 24 hours he has given us. We're going to give him five minutes. We're going to do our best to glorify him and magnify him. Uh, let us go ahead and thank him. Lift up your voice. Lift up if you can, wherever you are. Just begin to thank the king of kings. Uh, tell him that you are grateful. Thank, thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his love. Thank him for his provision. Thank him for the protection. Uh, just thank him for everything that you know God has 
done for you that without him it was not going to be possible without him without him was not going to be possible without the hand of god in that situation it was not going to be possible for you to come out of it hallelujah Father, Lord God Almighty, ah, I am too excited. I don't know. I don't know. Father, I bless you this hour. I thank you, Father. In fact, I thank you, God, for everyone watching me, for everyone listening to me, for everybody hearing me. Father, I bless you for their life. I thank you for their life. I give you all the praise and the honor. I thank you for sustaining them. I thank you for providing for them. I thank you for, Father, watching over them. I thank you for every breath they take. In fact, Father, I thank you for their family as well. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you that you have taken away the bad, the bad news of the enemy from them. I thank you, Father, that you have given them the opportunity to come on live, to come and bless your whole Holy name. Thank you that you have allowed them to be alive to bless you, for you have blessed them indeed. In the name of Jesus. Father, we exalt you. Um, we thank you this hour. We magnify you, Lord. Uh, we thank you for the bread that uh, you did not only just give us bread. You did not just only give us breath, Father. You have given us the strength. You have given us the strength to move on. Some people are alive. They woke up, yes, but they couldn't get out of their bed. They, I mean, like they, they are, they are, but they couldn't stand up on their bed uh, due to some evil attack, due to some something, stroke or something. You understand? But God did not just wake us up this morning. He woke us up and he gave us the strength in our limbs, uh, in our legs, in our, like we, we, are, we are mobile. We are not immobile mobile hallelujah who else are we going to give praise to by the king of kings uh, lord of lord and ancient of days uh, father i salute you this very hour and i bless you for the knowledge for the wisdom for the understanding uh, have you ever imagined how do you always get like get away with things Every time there's a situation, God always comes in and gives you an idea. He always comes to you and comes in and shows you the way. He always comes in and whispers something to you. And then you begin to put things together. You begin to put things. It is the Spirit of God. Begin to bless the Lord Almighty. Father, you alone is excellent and mighty. Father, we love you. Oh, we cannot even count the amount of people at the hospital. It could have been us. It could have been any one of us. But Father, no, you did not allow that to happen to us. You did not permit it to happen. We may not have food. We may not have something to eat. But Father, we can breathe. Father, we exalt thy name. You are the King, Lord. You are Abba Father. Abba Father, the all-sufficient God. Jehovah El Shaddai. All-sufficient God. His mercies are not limited. His love is not limited. He does not love somebody more than he loves somebody else. His love is equal. His love is equal, whether we have sinned or not. He still loves us the same way. If God is to clean the earth today, just for only the people that love him to remain, ah, I will not be, maybe I will not be among the living. If God is to clean the earth today, if, if God is to say, I'm going to select only the people that truly, truly love me on this earth to remain, uh, where, how would we stand? How, how would we stand that judgment? But he doesn't look at it like that. He is so great and mighty. Call him beautiful. Call him precious. Call him excellent. Call him majestic. Call him holy. Oh, yes, holy. Holy Father. Holy Father. Call him holy. Call him precious. Never give his praises unto no man. Give the praise unto God to God. Give the praise unto God to God. Give the praise on. I, in fact... I'm very scared to watch the news. I am one of the most curious person to watch news. I am so scared to watch the news because it just grieves my spirit. It just crushes me. I am very emotional. I don't like to see people suffering. I don't like to see people in pain. I don't like to see people hurt. I don't like to hear that this one is shot. This one was shot here. This one, this one. I don't like to hear it. But what I'm trying to show you, what I'm saying, I'm very scared of the news because there's no good news no more. All the news are evil. All the news that we've been hearing are evil. But you and I, the mercies of Elohim has sustained us. The glorious name of God, Mashallah Brakando Hadiaha. We were reading the last time, Ezekiel 36, verse 22. 
God said that he was gathering the Israelites back. He was bringing them back to himself. Not because they deserve it. Because they have defiled his name. They have worshipped idols. They have murdered and everything. But because the nations around them and God scattered them, they began to say, what kind of God are you? People began to say, what kind of God is there? Why would you leave your people like that? So God said, you know what? You don't deserve it. But I'm going to gather you back. I'm just doing it just for the sake of my holy name. God was saying, just for the sake of my holy name, uh, he has protected you and I. He said, just for the sake of his holy name. My God. Because if you think about it, what, what have we done for God to keep us alive? If you think about it, what have we given God to, for him to keep us alive? If you think about it, what can you possibly do or give to God that he doesn't have or he can't give himself for him to keep us alive? We can never pay God back. It's serious. I know we're always saying this, but really think about it. Everything that you have, he has given unto you. Everything that you have, he, 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 see, like, he has given unto you. You understand? God gave everything to you. So what, how can you pay him back? How can you pay him back? The only thing he's asking is for us to use our body as an instrument to glorify him. The only thing that he wants from us is our body, especially our mouth. Life and death or death and life lies under the power of the tongue. So if you want to see the goodness of the Lord more and more, if you want to see more of God more and more, you got to raise your voice and begin to praise him. Let him know that, Father, I am grateful. Father, I will not be ungrateful like how I was before. When I was in the world, I was careless. I was ungrateful. I didn't even care if you kept me alive. But now I am very grateful. Begin to thank him for the family. Thank him for the children. Thank him for the job. Thank him for the money. Thank him for the finances. Thank you for the vehicle. Even though if you don't have a vehicle and you walk to where you walk to, at least you have the leg. You're not in the wheelchair. God is so merciful. God is so merciful. How can I stay quiet when I'm praising the king? How can I praise the king? Last night around, I think, um, what was it? 1 or something a.m. I, I, I say, you know what? I'm going to worship after my prayer. I say, I'm going to worship the Lord. Just, I'm going to try my best to keep my voice down. I don't want to wake up the neighborhood. And I started singing, You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are, I just, I said, I'm going to sing a very low tone. By the time I notice myself, you are, yeah, like, I'm just like off the chain. I'm just like, I'm like, and then I call myself back. I'm like, hold on, hold on, girl. You got to slow down. You got to slow down. People are sleeping. It doesn't matter. People are sleeping. When you just, when you're excited about the things of God, you can't keep it. You, you, you just have to shout it out. Hallelujah. Last week. There was a knock at the door. I was, uh, um, I was doing live. Those were for you that were on live. I, I, no, it wasn't last week. I'm sorry. It was Monday. I think it was Monday. Just this Monday. So there was a knock at the door. And then when I opened the door, the lady's like, oh, I heard you uh, uh, um, praising the Lord. And I say, my goodness, I am very loud. That's not good, but it is good at the same time. Go ahead and worship the Lord. Go ahead and adore him. Uh, somebody's limb is being cut off right now. Every moment that you and I are on this life right now, somebody is being hurt. Uh, somebody is being injured. Uh, somebody is being in, is in pain. Uh, the migraine that you had, that you took a, a, a medication that you survived. Somebody had the same migraine. They took a medication they died out of it. Somebody had that same stomach pain. They are gone with it. Somebody had a little fall. They are gone. Somebody went in their bathtub and then oh, they never made it. Somebody said they're going to go shower and never came out of that uh, uh, um, shower again. Somebody said they're going to go cook. They never came out of the kitchen again. Somebody said they're going to go grocery shopping. They never came back again. They didn't even make it up to the grocery shop. Oh, we plan our day. We plan our day. We plan, we plan, we plan. Doctor's appointment, food appointment, uh, uh, you name all the appointments. It, who do you think is bringing you there? Who do you think is protecting you? Who do you think is watching over you? Who, who, who do you think is going ahead of you? It is God. It is the Spirit of God. It is God that sent His angels 
to watch over us. It is God that is so gracious. Uh, let me tell you something. Even those evil people, God is still watching them. Even those evil people, even those witch doctors, those wizards and out there, God is still watching them because God knows he created them. That one day, one day, he's so merciful unto everybody. God is merciful unto everybody. His mercy is so sufficient even to the wicked of the wickedest, if that's even a word. His mercy is so sufficient even to the meanest, even to the murderers, we all know. Even especially to those people, those witch doctors, those, those Sankoma, Sangoma, whatever people, those Obia people. It is, it is God that still watches over them. Have you ever thought about it? Do you think they are alive because Satan is watching them? Do you think they are alive because Satan is what is like Satan is no my dear. It is God that is still watching over them. Because they are still the people of God. And the mercies of God is sufficient. El Shaddai. Go ahead and bless the Lord. 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 God watches over everybody. God watches over everyone. Even those ones that are in prison, God is still watching over them. Even those ones that are in prison, God is still sustaining them. Oh, thank God for the farmers. From Monday, God has been telling me to thank God for the farmers. My goodness. Can you imagine farming yourself? Can you imagine farming in this country? Can you imagine yourself farming, farming, farming? God said we should also thank the farmers. We need to thank the farmers. Those people that uh, um, um, help us get produce. Those people that help us get food on our table. Though we buy the food, but it is... oh, by We need to thank the farmers. Whenever you are thanking God, thank God for the farmers also. They work very hard to make sure that food, so that we get food at the grocery shop for us to go and buy it. Just imagine the farmers decide to go and strike. Just imagine the farmers decide, oh, they don't want to farm no more. Just imagine the farmers decide, oh, no, what enough. Where are you going to buy food? How are you going to farm at your little balcony? How are you going to farm at your little um, backyard? How, how are you going to get the things that you get to go buy at the grocery? How are you going to get the juice and all those things? Uh? So when you thank God, thank God for the farmers. Father, we thank you for the farmers also. We thank you, oh God. I thank you for the doctors. Uh, oh, I thank you for the nurses. Um, I thank you for the teachers, the students. I thank you for the police officers. Uh, I thank you for the leaders of this nation, Lord. Uh, you are excellent, God, Father. You watch over everybody. Uh. Your grace and your mercy is sufficient. Your love is sweet. Uh. Begin to thank the Lord in the Holy Ghost. Uh. Father, you are merciful. You are kind. You are kind, Lord. Uh, we woke up with no scratch on us. Uh, uh, at least I woke up with no scratch on me. Uh, oh, because the Lord God Almighty, uh, he fought my battles while I was asleep. Your battles have been fought. Uh, your battles, God is always fighting your battles. If God is to open your eyes for one second, you will tell him to close your eyes again. Uh, because of... If God is to open your eyes one minute just to see the wickedness around you, to see the unfaithfulness around you, to see the evil plot and the evil arrows around you, you will tell God, I don't want to see no more. Close my eyes again. But you see, we, God only show us the good things. God only show us the good things. God only show us the good things. Every time you get a headache, every time you get a pain, it is by means of somebody releasing that arrow. It is hour of sickness. It is hour of pain. But God makes us to feel it. But at the end of the day, guess what? We are still alive. We send our children off to school. We kiss them. Goodbye. Oh, I will see you later. How sure are you that you're going to see them later? But glory be to the Most High God. You see them later. Hallelujah. Thank God, thank God. Uh, call him the King of Kings. Uh, call him Abba Father. Call him Glorious God. Uh, call him Holy God. Uh, call him Excellent God. Uh, call him Mighty God. Uh, call him Precious Jesus. Uh, call him the Lord of Lords. Uh. Oh, yes. Yes. 
Glory be to God, we are victorious. We are more than a conqueror. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. You hear that scripture? We can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Father, help me. Help me with that. Philippians, Philippians. 413. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthen you. So there we go. I guess that would be the scripture for the day. Without the strength of God, with that, like everything that we do, it is by God. It is by the strength of God. Because Christ has strengthened us. Because Christ strengthened us. We do all things through Christ Jesus Christ. If that even makes sense, that's too much Christ, Christ, right? We can do all things through Jesus who strengthens us. Never think, never for a moment, never for a moment, saints, never for a moment. Take credit for your breath you're taking. Never take credit for the air you're breathing. Never take credit for the food you're eating, the water you're drinking, the slippers you honor, the chair, even the chair you're sitting in. Never take credit for it. It is God that gave somebody the idea. It is God that created somebody and put the idea in their mind for them to do all of that. You are comfortable. We are not sitting on the ground. We are not, you know, lying on the floors. God created somebody, and with, through that creation, he implanted ideas and gifts, special gifts them, so they can make things for us to be comfortable. We can uh, um, just heat up our food in the microwave. We open the microwave, we warm up our food. Those of us that have microwave, oven, everything. Never take anything for, a mo- for granted. Thank God wherever you are. Begin to look around you. Uh, begin to look around you. Uh, begin to look around you. Uh, thank God for the every little thing that you are seeing around you right now. Begin to be grateful. Begin to be grateful. We have to be grateful. Angels are on assignment to me. Angels are ready to bless anybody that bless God from the bottom of their heart. Angels are ready to araba shanda brakando sekoro brahaskiadaba to reko shene pranda kahaskondiha. Thank you, Jesus. They are ready to rakatanda braha. Angels are ready. To release the blessings that has been hanging on. Uh. See, they are ready to bless you for blessing the Lord. Uh. Laba shanda braha. You have to be ready. You have to be willing. Uh, the same love. Just imagine when you were in love. Uh, oh, you know when you used to have the what they call it? Uh, um, oh, crush? Is it crush? Secret, secret admirer. When you had that secret admirer. Oh my goodness! You can't sleep. You can't like you just restless and sleepless may jesus christ be the same well you cannot be restless anyway god does not make us restless but may you like have that same love for christ hallelujah may you have that same love for christ there is this joy you see there's there is a difference between uh, um there is a difference between happiness and joy yeah there is a difference between happiness and joy when you have happiness, happiness is given by the world. Happiness is given by, you know, like anybody can make you happy. Anybody can make you happy. Like we make ourselves happy. You understand? We, we make ourselves happy. But when it comes to joy, only Jesus can give us joy. Joys come from within and happiness is just out, like an outward thing. Happiness is just outward thing. If you get money, you are happy. Um, if somebody gives you something, you are happy. Um, if you're eating your favorite food, you are happy. If you're watching your favorite show, you are happy. If you're like your happiness is just outward, it's just outward. But joy is inward. Joy is only given by Jesus Christ. Joy is from the, joy is like Joy is given. Happiness is just given by the world and ourselves but joy is given by god and what god gives her it is pure it is everlasting so whatever joy that you are feeling it is god that gave you that joy just know the difference between happiness and joy i have joy all the time <laughs> it is I, this is me i can just stare at you and just i would just be I would just be in my own space. 
Yeah, because I feel something. I feel joy within me. Uh, uh, I may look sad outside, but inside I'm very happy. I'm very grateful inside. Uh, for you know what? Forget about what they say. Oh, you know, forget it. I may look so sad outside. You may look at me, and I may look so miserable outside. But you don't know what's inside. Uh, is that is the joy that matters? And even that, the joy inside just comes out automatically. Begin to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me read today's scripture. Although we um we cited um Philippians 4:13 that we do things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. So 1 Peter chapter 2 verse number 10. Once you had no identity as people, as a people. Now you are God's people. So once we were not counted among the living, once we were condemned by our enemies, once we were not regarded, once we were just we were just nothing, once we were at the tip of death, once we were homeless, once we, you just imagine everything, you know, once you had no identity as a person or as a people, now you are God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. Oh my God. Mwah. I love mwah. Jesus. I love your word. Let me get yes. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. First Peter chapter 2, verse number 10 is what I'm reading. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you have you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. I'm not the one that wrote the scripture, and I thank God. This is what God is saying. We were once condemned. Oh, uh, Once it was our enemies that were making decisions for us. Once it was the devil that was planning our lives. Once it was the demons that were orchestrating our moves. But no. Now we are God's people. Hallelujah. Now we are God's people. Once we had no mercy, even though we went astray and we had no mercy, but now we are God's people. We have received mercy from God. Once you have mercy from God, who is that? Who, who is that man? Who is that devil? Who is that spirit? Uh, thank God for his mercies. Uh. God is so merciful. Uh. The mercies of God endures forever. The goodness of, of God endures forever. Father, we bless you for your mercies, Lord. Uh, thank you for your kindness. Um, thank you for going ahead of us on every road trip. Uh, thank you for going ahead of us in our driving. Uh, thank you for going ahead of us in our family life. Thank you for going ahead of us, Father, in our children's education. Thank you for going ahead of us in our finances. Uh, thank you for destroying every devour of our body, our mind, our soul, our spirit. Uh, thank you for shutting the lions, oh God. Uh, thank you for silencing the evil voices uh, they're always telling us there is no God uh, always telling us oh God can't do this for you uh, thank you for shutting them down Lord father you alone is God all by yourself uh. You alone is God. When you open door, no man can shut. When God opens your door, who is that man? God does not need permission from your enemies. He does not need permission from your friends to bless you. He does not need permission even from your mom. God does not ask permission even from your mom. God does not need nobody's permission to be kind to you, to be merciful to you, to be gracious to you, to be, I mean, to be, like to love you. Because the input of man will be condemnation. That's what they would have received from God. I always say, just imagine God is to ask your enemy. Should I keep her alive? Should I keep him alive? You tell me. The word enemy. Imagine God asking our friends. Imagine God asking our friends, should I be merciful unto this one? Imagine God asking our parents, oh, do you think I should bless her? Imagine God asking, um, um, asking our managers, our bosses, uh, oh, should I keep him or her alive? It won't be good. But God is God all by himself. 
There is nobody that God need. God does not need people's permission to bless us, to keep us alive, to sustain us. Oh, makada broshki adaba. He does not need ideas of men like kushe parakatonia to decide on our behalf. He doesn't. He does it all by himself. Uh, so begin to love him. Begin to bless him. Begin to adore him. Call him beautiful. Call him holy. Call him excellent. Call him mighty. Call him loving. Call him adorable. Call him gracious. Uh, call him wonderful. Call him excellent. Uh, call him the Lord of Lords and the God of Gods. Uh, oh, the Lord of Lords. Yadabasi katarababa shadababa. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. How excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh Lord. His name is excellent. Um, his name is precious. His name is holy. His name is mighty. His name is Elohim. His name is Adonai. Yadaba kanda brakadaba. There are over two hundred. There's so much. Uh, um, what do you call it? I don't know if they call it names or whatever. Can you imagine one God with so much titles? You the ti you, you can't even get enough of it. You can't describe him. You can't describe him, but my favorite name for God is I am. I am, oh my God, I am, I am, I am. I am. I am. He can't even describe himself. He's like, I can't even describe myself. Just go and tell Pharaoh that I am sent you. Just when you go, tell Pharaoh I am sent you. When you go, just tell Pharaoh I am sent you. Because if I, I, I can't even describe myself right now. I can just imagine God telling Moses, I can't even describe myself. Just go and tell him that I am sent you. I am covers everything that he is. He is. He is. He is. He is. Undescribable. Undescribable God. Undescribable God. Just as he is undescribable, the same way is his love undescribable. His mercy is undescribable. His kindness, his goodness, his favor. Everything that comes from God is undescribable. Have, can you describe the miracles that God does? Can you describe uh, the healings of God? Can you describe the miracles of God? Can you describe it? Just as he is undescribable, the same ways are his ways. Uh, his ways are undescribable. But all it matters that it is upon us. His ways are upon us. His blessings are upon us. His goodness are upon us. God is undescribable. So when you do things for him, uh, do it with purity. Do it with, uh, like, well, just, just pour out your heart. You know how they say first impression, what, I don't know the, the whole, the full thing. First impression is important or whatever the word is. Every day, may every impression for Christ be like the first impression. Just imagine you are given an opportunity at your corporate to lead a presentation and through that presentation we will know whether we should promote you or you remain where you are i'm sure you put your best you will put your best in there you will put, you will be restless you will, you will put all your effort in there to make sure that you get that presentation uh, crisp crisp oh zero error zero effort i mean zero uh, mistakes May you have that same attitude. May you, may you have that same attitude. Father God, I pray for your people, Lord. Anyone with a stony heart, Lord. Father, you said that you would take away our stony heart, our stone heart, and you will give us a heart of flesh. Father, anybody with any stony heart, Father, I pray that you would replace that with a, with a heart of flesh so that they can praise you, Father God, so that they can love you from the bottom of their hearts. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I bless your name, Jesus. God is so kind. The other day, there are so much things that God has been 
it's just like you know since we started this praising thing online god has been giving me so much examples and i think I, like like i just I'm like my god my god we don't always we always don't think every time that you see something bad happen to somebody say god thank you that it is not me thank you that i am not i'm i'm not the one feeling this pain at the same time i should thank god pray for that person if you see somebody hurt if you see somebody you know if you see somebody in pain somebody in accident when you watch the news just thank god that it is not you it is not your family thank god that it's not anybody close to you but at the same time pray for god to have mercy upon them pray for god to deliver them pray for god to deliver them pray for god to deliver them i have a god I have a God who never fell. Jesus never fell. Savior never fell. Forever more. We have a God that never fails. We have a God that He never fails. He never fails us. Rakarabashanda Kandabram. If God, if you feel that God has failed you, then check yourself. If you feel that God has failed you in anyway please check yourself just 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 check yourself out just just check yourself because he never fails us if you feel that god has failed you uh, begin to check yourself out good morning heather begin to check yourself begin to check yourself if you feel god does not fail you uh, if god wanted to fail you he will not bring you up he will not even waste his energy to create you he will not even yeah god will not bring you here to fail you he brought you here as an instrument uh, to worship him to glorify him to adore him to love him uh. so he will not bring you here to you know to cause you to be a failure check yourself if you feel like you god has failed you uh, check your relationship with god hallelujah Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our King. Thank you, our Maker. You are the Maker of everything. The Maker of everything upon this earth. Upon this face of the earth, Father, you are the Maker of everything. You are the Maker of everything. The airplane, now you are the Maker of it. Oh, the cars, you are the Maker. The bicycle, the, the, the tall buildings, and the trees, the lights, Father, you are the Maker of them all because you created that person, Lord, and you gave them the idea. You are the Maker of everything now you kush keba hash keba handia you are the maker of everything adonai therefore we glorify thee father we thank you father that we are comfortable oh my god and my lord mashedo kopara bada bahandia yedebo seke de bahandia god does not fail his people god does not fail us he don't have time for that he don't have time to bring people to come and suffer. Then why would he bring Jesus to come and suffer for us? If he so didn't care. May you release every bitterness that you have um, 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 of God from your heart. Holy Spirit, may you release anybody. Anybody with bitterness. Oh God, for God. Father, may you touch them, Lord. Father, let them release them. So check yourself out because God does not fail us. God does not fail us. Never does he fail us. May you not rabash kiarabahanda. May you not hold. In fact, if you're holding anything against God, it is a curse unto you. Begin to release yourself. Begin to release yourself. If you have spoken ill of God, begin to release yourself. Begin to ask God you are sorry. Uh, oh, you didn't mean it. Father, you said it out of whatever reason you said it. Uh, what if you have said anything about God? Begin to ask God to deliver you to come out of that. Because he is a God of faithfulness. It is written in his word. Even though, even in your unfaithfulness, he said that he is still faithful. Even in our unfaithfulness, even in our ungratefulness, even in our, yeah, our unbelief or disbelief, he is still faithful. He is still faithful. Hallelujah. 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 Excellent is the name of the Lord. His name alone is holy. His name alone is holy. His name alone is holy. 
because of the goodness of the Lord, uh, people can come to you for food. Uh, because of the goodness of the Lord, uh, you can actually help somebody out with water. Because of the goodness of the Lord, uh, you can give somebody a ride who don't have a car. Because of the goodness of the Lord, uh, you can assist somebody else. Because of the goodness of the Lord, you are not going around asking people for things. In fact, people are asking you for things because God has blessed you. The sufficient of God has reached you for you to reach others with it. Being alive, it's a miracle. Because, like, some, somebody was asking me, how do you know? How, what, what did he say? How do you know that tomorrow will come or something? Like, I forgot. And I really thought about it so hard. I'm like, yeah, it's true. But we make plans for tomorrow. And God is so merciful. And he keeps us for that day. May the hand of God continue to be upon us all in the name of Jesus. Father, we adore you this hour and we glorify you. We have come, Father, we have dropped everything that we are doing. Uh, we have left everything that we are doing, Father God, uh, to show our gratitude unto you. Uh, that, Father, you have given us 24 hours in a day. Uh, we are dedicating this very hour, this very moment, Father God, um, to give it back to you. Uh, to give it back to you. Uh, to give it back to you. To give it back to you. To give it back to you. 24 hours in the day Christ has given us. God has given us. Uh, free of charge. Uh, what are you giving back to him? Uh, out of your 24 hours. What are you giving back? How many minutes are you giving unto Christ? Uh, is God. How many minutes have you given unto him? Or will you give it to him? May you give him more than 5 minutes. I pray that you will give him more than 5 minutes. I pray that you will even give him a minute. Some people don't even give him no minutes. They just get up, brush their teeth, go in the shower, go to work, come back, go to work. Same thing every day in and out. God has given you 24 hours in the day. Yeah? How many minutes have you or will you give it to him? May you find time and spend with God. May you find time and spend with God. May you find time and spend with God. May you find the time and dedicate it to God. Uh, even five minutes, that's all he wants. How do you feel when your spouse don't have no time for you? Uh, how do you feel when your husband, your wife don't even look at your way, don't even care, don't even like, no, let's just speak one-on-one -on -one now, one-on-one. -on -one. Just imagine, okay, your spouse don't have no time for you. You live with this person, but you don't, you barely see him. He's not talking to you. She's not talking. Like you, you guys see each other barely. You begin, all his attention is spent at work on other people, on other things. And you're not getting the attention that you are looking for. That is how God is. God wants our attention too. He wants our attention. Oh, our first love. He's our first love. God is a jealous God, but his jealousy is a good jealousy. God is a jealous God. His jealousy is a good jealousy. You understand? I can, no, just, no, just really just imagine. Somebody that you're planning of spending the rest of your life with. Don't give you no time. Don't give you no time. Like what I say, no time, like no time. Oh, you call them and busy. You write them, they don't respond. You try your best to communicate with this person and you're just not receiving that attention. How would you feel? That is how God feel. That is how God feel. God has a feeling. He said he created us in his own image. So the image that you are in, it is an image of God. The feelings that you have, it is the feelings of God. The, the everything. Just as you cry, just as you weep, just as you feel, just as you touch, just everything. So is our Christ. So is Jesus. Hallelujah. So try to, don't make God too jealous. Don't make God too jealous. 
because you don't have time for him. You don't even say, I love you, Jesus. Uh, every day, I love you. You kissing your spouse. I love you. I love you, darling. Oh, I love you, honey. I love you. I love you. I love you. What about the one that gave you that spouse? What about the one that kept that spouse alive for you? What about the one that provided for that spouse? What about the one, the one that made all this to happen? I love you. Oh, I love you. 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 What about the creator that made all this relationship possible? You understand? So uh, every time you tell your spouse you love them, just include Jesus in there too. You tell your children you love them, add Jesus in the, in the equation. You tell your family you love them, add, add God in it. Add the Holy Spirit in it. Add the Holy Spirit in it. Every time you open your mouth to say I love you to somebody, ah, Add Jesus in it. Add Jesus into it. Because he made it possible. Without him that made it possible, you wouldn't even be able to open that mouth to say you love that person. You may be alive, but you, you, you may not even be able to use your mouth to say, oh, you love um, the person, you understand? Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord, for this very day. Thank you, Lord, for one more day. Yes. Thank God for one more day. Thank God for this very day. Thank him. Thank him for the Father. We thank you for this very day. We thank you for one more day. We thank you for Father. We thank you for this day. I know that this is the day you have given unto us because your word says so. This is the day the Lord has made for us. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Remember, I was talking about the difference between joy and happiness. In this uh, um, quotation, uh, you shall be glad and and rejoice in it. He, he did not say you shall be glad and be happy because happiness does not last. It is the joy that keeps happiness to last. This is the day the Lord has made. You shall be glad and what is the word? Yeah, rejoice in it. He did not say be glad and be happy. Oh. He said rejoice because joy is more lasting. Joy is lasting. Happiness is just like right now. You can make me like you can type something on on the on this. What is the uh, father? I don't even know what these things. I'm still learning. You can type something right now. You can make a joke, for example, and I will just smile and I'll be happy for a moment. And it will just gone in the next minute. I will not even remember again. But joy is just joy. Joy is inside. It comes from inside and then it just stays inside. So when the Bible said, this is the day the Lord has made, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. He did not say we shall be happy and be glad in it. Because God knows that happiness is just, is just for a moment. Happiness is just for a minute. Happiness, you, you gain happiness in the world happiness is just from the world it's just from our family making us happy you know that's why a lot of people unfortunately people with money millionaires billionaires trillionaires multi millionaires they kill themselves because they don't have the joy of god because they don't have the joy. Rakatashkia praski and broshki handabam. their money did not get them the happiness that you and I, the joy that you and i have they could not purchase joy. Does that make sense? They could not purchase joy. You cannot purchase joy. I don't know if we're talking about joy. But you cannot purchase joy. You can't purchase joy. You can buy happiness. You can purchase happiness. And guess what? Everything that is bought does not, um, is not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Holy Spirit, help me. I, 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 I need a, anything that is bought, it doesn't last. No, that's a word I wanted. Anything that you purchase, you pay for. Just as you pay for it, so shall it go. Everything that we pay for, it is not like it it, it, it. it just doesn't last. So they have all these millions. They have all these thousands of dollars. Ah, they buy happiness, but they can buy. They cannot buy joy. Only Jesus can give us the joy. Only God can give us the joy. Only Jesus can give us the joy. So if you are alive today, yeah, because Christ has given you the joy, yeah, you are smiling. Have you ever seen people, you know, when they show the people on TV? 
Have you ever seen people? Oh, la bakanda la kushkia rabroshkia, zapanda karuskia. Have you ever seen the homeless people? You see them, they are smiling, they are going on, they are happy like there's no tomorrow. They don't have anything. They are homeless, they are hungry, but they are smiling, they have joy. They have joy. They have the joy. They don't have. Holy Spirit, that's a good one. <laughs> I was watching one particular one. They, like they're just smiling. They're just smiling. Some of them, they just, some of them just, they just, have, they just have this thing. I don't know what if it's joy, if it's happiness, but they don't even have anything. You understand? So if you buy things, anything that you buy, money, wait, just know that it's not lasting. It will not last. It will not last. It will not. It, it just doesn't last. But you and I. We have given joy from within. We have, we have given joy from within because we claim the word of God. Have you ever read the Bible and just scream out and just start to laugh and you just start feeling so excitement inside you? Yes. You have to attach yourself with God. If you attach yourself with God continuously, you just begin to smile, smile always. I remember at certain workplace. Oh my goodness. I'm always smiling. I'm all, I don't know. I'm always smiling. Even on my way to work, I'm smiling. And people that are looking so angry, the moment they see my smile, they will begin to smile too. I'm like, that's right. Why are you always smiling? People are always asking me. Why are you always smiling? I don't know. I, 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 you know, joy, you can't explain joy. See, that's the thing. That is the difference between happiness and joy. For joy, you can't explain it. You can't, you, you can explain happiness. How? I can tell you, oh, this one just gave me a joke. That's why I'm laughing. That's why I'm so happy. Oh, this one just gave me um, $10,000. That's why I'm so happy. But with joy, you can't even explain it. You just know you have this joy, that peace, that, you know, that, that, that thing. And it's only coming from God. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Kadaba shekeri abraha. Just love Jesus wherever you are. If God does not give us anything that we have, don't think that it is your money that purchased those things that you have. Never think that, oh, you work so hard. That's where you have the home you have. Don't think that you work so hard. Don't think that it was your strength. It was your effort. It was your energy that worked so hard because of your 10 years education or two years or four years education. That's what made you to get where you are. My dear, it wasn't, it wasn't, it is by the spirit of God that give it light and strength. It is by the spirit of God that give it life and strength. So without that, Father, we love you so much. We thank you for showing us, Father, wretched people like me, oh God, person like me, uh, Father, a nobody like me. Thank you for showing that your mercy. Um, ah, thank you for showing me mercy, Lord. Thank you for showing my children mercy. Uh, thank you for showing my family mercy. Thank you for showing my siblings mercy. Uh, thank you for showing my loved ones mercy. Uh, thank you for showing my, oh, my, kadabroshkia, my friends mercy, Lord. Father, I stand in for them and I say thank you. Father, even if they are ungrateful, oh God, I stand in for them and I say thank you on their behalf, Father God. I say thank you, oh God, on their behalf. I thank you, Lord, on their behalf. They may not see or recognize you right now, but Father God, you say if we stand for each other, if we intercede for each other, Father God, it is a blessing. Father, I stand in for anybody, for anybody, oh God, that is ungrateful to you, Father. I am sorry, Father, I stand in for them and I say thank you, Lord. I thank you for their lives. Um, I thank you for whatever you have blessed them with. I thank you for anything that you have given them. Uh, I thank you for the breath, uh, the protection, the preservation, uh, the goodness, the kindness, the mercies, Father, you have, re you have rained upon them. Uh. Thank you, Father God. Uh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You alone is holy. 
You alone is holy. You alone is glorious. You alone is excellent. You alone is mighty. You alone is powerful. You alone is kind. You alone is magnificent. You alone is seated high above every other thing. You are higher and higher than the highest thing. You are greater than the greatest of them all. You are mightier than the mightiest, Lord. You are our strong tower. You are our strong tower. You are our rock of ages. We can confide in you. We have confidence 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 in Jesus. We have confidence in Jesus. My God. My God. My God. I have confidence in Jesus. Sometimes I will just cry. I will cry to my father because I know he is listening. Uh. If I call somebody else and cry to them, uh, by the time I'm finished hanging up the phone, uh, oh, look at this cry, cry person. Look at this cry, cry tea. Uh. Oh, tea's always crying. She's always crying. She's always calling me to cry. God is not complaining. Uh. I can cry to him every day, any day, anyhow. Uh. Oh, and he comes and wipes away my tears. Uh. He whispers and tells me my daughter don't cry no more the enemies you see right now you see today ah just a little longer you will not see them no more but if you pick up a phone make jesus your friend make jesus your friend make jesus your friend don't resist what the spirit of god is trying to do with you god is trying to disconnect you from certain people god is trying to disconnect you from certain things god is trying to disconnect you and how do you know that every time you do something and you feel so guilty about it ah that feeling that feeling that feeling that guilty feeling ah. It is God telling you, this you must not do no more. This place you must not go no more. This word you must not say no more. It is God convicting you. It is the Spirit of God convicting you. You keep calling certain people and God is trying to disconnect you. You've been calling this person and calling this person and the person is no longer answering you. But you and this person used to be very tight. You and this person used to be very close. All of a sudden you call them, they are not answering. God is trying to disconnect you from that person so, he, so you can spend time with him. God is trying to disconnect you from many things uh, so you can concentrate on him. Uh, all the attention that you've been giving on to things and people, uh, God is trying to disconnect you and you keep pushing yourself back into it. Uh, God is trying to get your attention uh, and you keep pushing yourself back into it. And then when something happens, uh, you begin to blame God. Oh, God, why? God, why? Oh, why didn't you warn me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you say something? He has been Speaking. He has been speaking. He has been speaking, but you refuse to obey. He has been speaking. He has been speaking. He has been speaking. He has been speaking. God has been speaking. God has been, he's been speaking. When God is trying to disconnect us from certain things so that we can spend more time with him. So we can, you know, concentrate on him. Why would God disconnect you from something good? Does that make sense? No. God will not take you and disconnect you from something good. God will not take... No. God will not disconnect you from something, from something good. Lebrushke parabaraba. God will not disconnect you from something that is good. So be in tune to the voice of the Lord. Be in tune. Begin to pray. Begin to ask God that you want to hear from him clearly. Some of us, God has been speaking for many years. I, I was one. I was number one. Because I didn't know the voice of God. I kept pushing myself into the things that he was trying to get me out of it. Because I didn't know the voice of God. I kept going back, going back, going back. And every time I went back, I felt so guilty. I felt so bad. I felt so terrible. 
I felt so terrible. And that is how God was speaking to us. That is how God is speaking to us. If you keep doing something and you get that guilty conscience, uh, you get that bad feeling, you get that ill feeling, uh, it is a sign that God is talking to you. Uh, God is speaking to you. Uh, God is telling you to back off from whatever that is. And begin to get closer to him. He wants to disconnect you from many associations, from many doing, from many places. So he can have time with you. Oh, that one-on-one -on -one time. That, that, you know, that one-on-one -on -one time. Oh, those are the good moments. That one-on-one. -on -one. That one-on-one, -on -one, you can actually open, lift up your mouth. And, and it's like you're talking to Christ right beside you. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Shalom. May the peace of God be rested upon you. Uh. May the joy of God fill you. Uh. That araka has pahanya. That joy that you can't explain. Uh. The joy that God has given me. Uh, I can't even explain it to even tell you how it, what it is. Uh. Father God, I want you to give them the same joy. Uh. I want you to give them the same excitement for you. Uh. I want you to give them the same joy, Father. Give them the joy that I say, Father, they can be happy in doing the things for you. Thank you, Jesus. That joy. If God does not give you the joy, forget it. Because you can't buy joy. You can buy happiness, but you can't buy joy. Yes, you can buy happiness. You can buy entertainment for happiness. You can buy favorite something for happiness. You can buy your favorite shoe. You can buy the best car out there for, um, for happiness, but it won't bring you joy. Only Jesus gives you the joy. Only Jesus can give you that joy, that happiness. Oh, that joy. That joy that you can't even explain to people how you feel. Hallelujah. God is awesome. Oh, yes. Every time we call him, he answers us. We call him always and he always answers us. We call him and he answers us. He answers us one way or the other. You may not get that direct answer, but your answer has come through. Whether that answer was for your child, that answer was for your job. Have you ever asked God for something and then the things that you did not expect that has, you know, that has come through? So, for example, you were asking God, you were asking God to heal you. Okay, I'm just, you know, saying this. You were asking God to heal you. And then you get a job from work. You've been promoted. That is a prayer answered. Even though God knows that that, that promotion is more needed. You ask God to heal you. Oh, you ask God for this. Uh, and God does it in different ways. It doesn't mean that God did not answer your healing prayer. God answered your prayer. But he gave you something more sufficient. Something more sufficient. Something that will be more sufficient. Hallelujah. So God answered our prayers. If God is not answering your prayers at all, he has kept you alive. So keep praying. If God is not answering, you feel like God is not answering your prayers at all, begin to fertilize your prayers with praises. Fertilize your prayers with thanksgiving. Fertilize your prayer with worship. Begin, stop the prayers. If you have pray, 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 and there's nothing now, you have not received any answer to your prayer, it is time to start watering the prayers you have prayed. We'll worship unto the Lord. It is time you begin to water your prayers with praises and thanksgiving. It is time to water your prayers with a it is time to water that prayers now. Water the prayers. Water the prayers. It is what are the prayers? If you feel like God has really not answered any prayers at all, and you are a person that you pray, 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 it is time to water them prayers, my dear. So I can get your couch. Do you want the couch? Oh yes, come for it. Just bring a truck. I'll be glad to give it to you. You can have the couch. You can even have more than my couch. Speaking about couch, I'm actually looking for somebody to give it to them. So if you want to come pick it up, you can inbox me. If you live where I am. You can inbox me, okay? 
It's true. I'm actually looking for somebody to give them the couch. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Allah brakata. So as you go on today, tomorrow, by the grace of God, is Friday. Father, we thank you for tomorrow. Father, we thank you for tomorrow being Friday coming up. Father, we thank you for tomorrow. In fact, we thank you for the weekend. We thank you for the oh my God, I broke for the new week coming up. We thank you for the rest of the month, Father. You know, when you thank God ahead of time, He has no choice. But to grant unto you, if you appreciate God ahead of time, oh, even as a human being, okay, let's just, let's just talk one-on-one -on -one again. If somebody tell you, okay, if you're always thanking somebody, okay, you're always telling somebody, oh, thank you for the pen, okay, I'm just saying this. Oh, thank you for the pen, thank you for the pen. Me, you know, somebody's telling you, thank you for the pen. Thank you for the pen. Oh, they thank you for the pen. Are you not going to eventually going to give up and give them the pen? No matter how much you love that pen, you're going to give them the pen. Because this person has been on your case. This person has been thanking you. This person has been thanking you for the pen. You're going to just say, oh, you know what? Just take it. I am just so tired. Just take the phone. Just take the pen. You understand? So when you thank God in advance. He just loves that. When you thank God in advance, he will do the things for you in advance. If you thank him in advance, he will go ahead of you and do the things for you in advance. You thank him in advance. His angels will go ahead of you in advance because you have already thanked him for, uh, um, for Monday. Oh, You have something coming up in April. You are thanking God in advance for April. You think God will not go ahead of you in April? God will not send his angels ahead of you in April? God will. He will. He will send people. He will send angels. He will send destiny helpers. He will send way ahead of you. Because you are grateful and you have thanked him ahead of time. Okay, you have already thanked him ahead of time. Father, I'm going to let go now. But I bless you, Father. Angels of God, anybody that has been on live, uh, those were the ones that came and left, Father. The ones that have been worshipping you with me along. Uh, Father, as you said, anybody that comes and prays you from the heart, Father, you said you will bless them. Uh, you will release your angels to go and touch them uh, and answer every praise. Father, I ask that this is the time now, Lord. Uh, angels of God, this is the time now. This is the time now. I need everybody blessed. Uh, I need everybody touched. Uh, I need need everybody favored and need everybody restored right now right now in the name of jesus christ amen it is done it is done it is done your time your energy your effort your love your 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 everything will not be in vain it will not be in vain it will not be in vain it will not be in vain Nobody work for God in vain. Nobody works for God in vain. Your blessings on earth. You receive blessings on earth. And you receive eternal life. Eternal life. In fact, I have already prepared messages to ask Jesus. Hi, the day I see this man, my God. You receive heavenly blessings uh, and you receive earthly blessings. Uh. We should be in the paradise earth. Blessing on uh, um, what they call heaven on earth. Heaven on earth blessings. Hallelujah. I'm going to let you all go now. I ask for the peace of God. I ask for the joy of God. Oh, the restoration of God. Uh, the grace of God uh, to be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask that God will continue to give like God will continue to give you a heart of flesh uh, so that you will continue to worship him. Uh, no stony heart, no rocky heart can please God. Anybody with a rocky heart cannot please God. But we blessing glory unto God for touching our heart today. Holy Spirit, thank you for touching your people's heart, Lord. Uh, the information or the words that you have released unto them, Father, thank you for the touch, touching their hearts to receive it. 
Father, thank you for taking over our body, our mind, our soul, our spirit. Thank you for kicking out everything that is not of you. That conscience that that conscience that the devil is always making us feel. Thank you for thank you for erasing them all. Thank you for giving us clarity of mind. Thank you for giving us purity of mind. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, creator of the heavens and the universe. We adore you this hour for you are glorious. 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 He is glorious. And glorious indeed god bless you all i am glad that you are alive i'm glad and i thank god that you are alive you can hear you can see me i thank god that god bless you for your data that you came on life to praise him god bless you for spending time with him god bless you for your for your phone for your computer god bless you for whatever medium that you are using to be connected to him may you receive whatever god has in store for you immediately in the name of jesus christ hallelujah don't take my prayers lightly yadabashki and abroshkiaha don't take it lightly run with it and run with it uh, run with it in the name of jesus amen shalom god bless you i am coming off live right now i hope our lightning today was okay because um we've been trying to get good lightning in this place amen okay okay we do okay heather we do. God bless you. Amen. Okay. Shalom. Peace unto everybody. And remember and thank God for the mercies. Okay. Thank God. Tomorrow is coming. Friday is coming. Tomorrow being Friday is coming. And you know, Fridays are the busiest day for the devil because he knows that many people are going to mess up themselves. And the devil is ready just to strike them. But you are exempt. You are exempt from any attack from the pit of hell. You are exempt. You, your family, your job, your, your finances, your car, your homes, anything and anyone around you, they are exempt from the works of the enemy. You have been exempt. You are exempt. You are exempt. You are exempt in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye. God bless you all.